Hi everyone. I realise I haven't done a video now for seven months and I've done loads of DIY projects on my fish tanks and I thought I should still carry on sharing these with you. My subscribers are growing uh, and it looks like you guys are still interested in watching the videos that I do. So hopefully over the course of 2017 I'll show you some more videos on the DIY projects I've been doing. Um, so I'll give you a bit of an update on my tanks. I've still got the Fluval 125, um, the lights are still doing fine on them and you've probably noticed that a lot of my projects might involve some electronics and stuff like that um, and what I thought I'd show you um, over the course of next year is probably write a blog up on a fish tank monitor that I've built. At the moment it's plugged into the Roma um, but I'm hoping to after Christmas also put in a, a remote unit so it can monitor my fish tank in the bedroom as well. Um, it's got a web interface, I can zoom in and out of different um, temperature readings over the course of different weeks, it has a live webcam feed, I've integrated alerts on there so it will text me on my phone if there's issues with the temperatures, what else have I done on it? Um, oh, it remotely controls my air conditioning as well, um, so yeah, it's really cool, it's all run by a Raspberry Pi, it costs less than 30 quid to set up, it's just you need some time in how to code it all up, and I'm probably going to try and share all of those pages with you and how I did all of that next year. Um, the next thing is my um, Aqua Expert 70, still running in, in my bedroom, I've still got that DIY filter on it. And that DIY filter is working so good. I mean, you can see, I'll, I'll play a video now, this is the crap that's come out of that filter, uh, out of the filter sponges once I've given them a rinse after one week. So I clean that every week, those sponges, because it's so easy to access, I can keep them really clean. Um, so that's going really well. Another project I was going to show you is, um, I've been trying to work on the lighting on the Aqua Expert 70. It's not great for growing plants, the current unit that's in there, and I've been rigging up different LED lights inside the, the um, fish tank. So at the moment, you can see I've got a whole runner of um, strip lighting LEDs plus another one in there. You might not be able to see it, but hopefully now you can see that I can change all the lights remotely. Um, and I basically have like a, an overnight light that just stays on all the time, and then I've also modded it so um, when the main lights come on, some additional lights come on too to try and help some of the plant growth in there. And it works really good um, so far. I think it still needs a bit of tweaking, so that's why I haven't done the video yet, but I'll show you how you can do that without breaking any of the current lights in it, how you just need to get some additional cables, and then you can literally revert it back to default if you don't want to uh, have those run those lights anymore in it. So that's quite a cool project. Finally, I'll have another video coming out shortly. Um, about a new filter that I'll be putting on the Roma. I had an unfortunate accident with my Eco Pro, which I've got another video about. People have complained that the plastic on them can break off when you're trying to prime it, and unfortunately I was rushing to change all the filter pads before I was going out, and cracked the plastic on it. So at the moment it's been it's rammed shut with a um, drinks mat to keep uh, keep <laughs> keep the lid down. Um, but I bought a new filter, so I, I got an Eheim Experience 150, so I've got to put that in the tank. And um, I'll show you how all that runs, and uh, show you swapping the media out, putting the Biohome Ultimate in it, and uh, show you the fault on the Eco Pro. Um, I think a great filter, the Eco Pro has been brilliant. I can get more filter media in this Experience 150 apparently, um, so I'll do some comparisons between the two. The thing with the Experience 150, it doesn't self-prime, so uh, hopefully I'm not going to get a mouthful of tank wall when I do it. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great Christmas uh, and a great 2017, and hopefully you'll hear from me soon.